we have two sides to our business. We publish. Um, we do less of that nowadays as the tools have taken over the main side of the business. So the other part is the tools. Um, to give you a brief history on YoYo Games, uh, our business is based around a tool called Game Maker uh, that allows people to develop one game in the, the Game Maker environment and then export to multiple platforms. Um, this the multiple platforms include iOS, Android, Windows, HTML5, Windows 8, Windows Phone 8, Tizen, Linux, etc. Yeah, and the beauty is you make one game and then you export it out very rapidly to all the different platforms. So there's several different areas that Game Maker and YoYo Games stand out. One is we're purely 2D. The other one is the speed that we can develop across those different platforms. We, you know, you literally make one game and you click a drop-down menu and you export to that platform straight away. Now there's going to be slight differences. So if you're doing, if you've developed a game in Windows and then you're exporting it to iOS, one game's keyboard, the other game's touchscreen. But we have functions within the tool that allow you to change and adapt to that very, very rapidly. I mean, our development times for our initial games that we were publishing were like four to eight weeks. And one game we did in about eight weeks, it went out on about 11 different stores and platforms in, on release. So you could see quite quickly for a small de indie developer or a, a normal size developer, you can get your ideas down and exported and out into the marketplace very rapidly. Um, you know, and getting more coverage allows you to get discoverability, that allows your products to generate revenue for you, to allow you to create more games. Wind back to sort of May 2012 when we actually um, launched Game Maker Studio. Over the period since then, we've done over a million downloads of the free version. Um, we have 40,000 daily active users using the tool now. Um, and over that period, we're now starting to see the successes of some of those games come through, the ones that the indies are developing, you know, Risk of Rain, we've got uh, Nuclear Thrones, which is Vlambeer's latest game. Uh, Savant, there's loads of games on our uh, Castles in the Sky. There's loads of games that have been made with Game Maker now that are hitting the press, hitting the media. And we're seeing that. We've just had two nominated for BAFTAs. So it's just shown you that from it being a hobbyist tool way, way back when Game Maker was originally created, it's now getting into the hands of people that can create and use the technology and push it, you know what I mean? And push the boundaries and that comes back to us and we're like, no way, we've never realised people were going to use the tool in this way or that way, you know? Come and have a look at the new technology we're developing, it's really, really cool. Um, if you're into making games, if you're into making indie games, if you're into making like, if you're a professional developer, come over and come and see the tech because you'll be blown away by what it's doing at the moment. Um, and we can, that's one part of it will be the new tech. We'll also show the fast cross-platform development. So we've got all that on there and our showcase that will be pumping out all the games that we've seen this year coming out of Game Maker. So some, some really exciting stuff to see. And uh, some of them are well-known games as well, you know. So I think that surprises a lot of people when we actually post stuff up on Facebook. They're like, no way, I never knew this was maybe Game Maker. And we expect to hear a lot of that at the show as well. So, so yeah, come over. Sh the show reel, the new tech, and the existing tech and the speed that you can develop with it. That's what we'll be showing off.